audience. <clears throat> The Devil's River. Three words that evoke curiosity from most and awe and reverence from a select few. Mention these words to a casual Texan, American, and even outdoorsman. You're likely to receive a puzzled response. Seldom do you run across somebody who has actually heard of this place, and even rare are those who have actually been to it. But this may be a positive attribute, for it's the lack of people that preserves this true treasure of Texas. It is one of the very few places in North America that is relatively untouched by man, the cleanest environment I have ever seen. Many people who have spent a good portion of their lives in the wilderness have a few select memories, moments that stand out in their minds for one reason or another, or no reason at all. One of these moments I personally experienced on the Devil's River. It was getting late in the day, and it was time to pull off the river and make camp. When I picked our campsite, it was up on a rock shelf uh, just below, below about a 500 foot cliff. It was tiring sheer up from the river. For whatever reason, my first thought was to climb to the top. I struggled for nearly an hour finding a route up the 500 foot rise. When I finally reached the summit, a calm struck like no other. You couldn't hear the river below. Only the wind touched my ears. I hadn't scaled Everest or Denali or even a Colorado 14er or a snow-capped peak in the distant Cascades. I, it was merely a scramble up an unnamed desert scrub-laden hill, undistinguishable from the cactus on all the countless other hills surrounding it. But it was there on that barren peak, looking down at the pristine, clear river water below and the endless rolling hills around, that I had an accomplished a feat worthy of conquering a mountain that did have a name.